With Act 3 very close to releasing, we are all wondering how the story is going to end. With the first act, went over the Yumba's backstory when she got corrupted by the cube thingy, which is believed to be one of Lord Exo as he be has been seen to be behind a lot of things happening in TTS. We can see this Lord Exo figure at the end of the 2022 holiday event trailer, and Act, act 2 is about the time when Jackalbot invaded us, and as we now know for unknown reasons, the Umbra was actually behind that, as the narrator says in Act 2. And an important thing to note also, that the Umbra first appeared in the 2021 Solar Eclipse event, where we defeated her, as uh, she glitched away, but now, in these new Act 1 and Act 2, uh, there's been a, we've been inside of a circus type building, and there's been a narrator telling us the story. So, for the next R, Act, uh, it would be logical to be a conclusion of said story. And we also know from this uh, tweet by uh, yeah, the official Tower Defense Simulator, your story won't be a happily ever after. And also this tweet which says, this show is going to literally blow the roof. So that those also give us some clues. And this roof would of course logically be the roof of the circus, this one. Now there are multiple things that could act in it happen in this act. First of all, the Solar Eclipse event Act 4. Basically this implies that there is a repeat of what happened uh, back then uh, where we fought against the Umbra. Now I don't think this is very likely as I don't think they would do something that's like the same as has uh, already happened. Uh, 2. A battle against Lord Exo instead of the Umbra. Uh, our final boss will be, so basically our final boss would be Lord Exo himself. Maybe we could close an alliance with the Umbra and fight Lord Exo together. However, you have to consider always that our story won't be a happily ever after. Now, third possibility that Umbra and Lord Exo both fight against us together. This is also a possibility, which would mean they both fight against us. However, we should always remember again that our story won't be a happily ever after. So now, I don't know what's going to happen in the story, but things aside from the story, we know there will be five new UGC limited so we can get from the event and the one new event tower. There is this image with uh, like a thing throwing bombs. This could be this could be an enemy. This could be a boss. This could be a demo man skin, or this could be a new tower. We have no idea what it is, but we know there will be one new event tower uh, and five new UDC. One of these UDC will be rewarded for the will be rewarded to the first fifty thousand people who win the event. Uh, that's this, it's the head of the narrator, I believe. And the others are likely to be just rewarded by, by RNG. And I believe that's all we really know for sure about Act 3. But of course, only time will tell. So if you have any of your own theories, please leave them down below in the comment section. I look forward to reading them. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, it will help me out a ton. It's free, and look at my terrible statistics, so please help me, will you? And anyways, good luck in Act 3 when it releases, and bye bye. 2.5k at the end of the year, hmm? Please?